Hey everybody. Happy Stamp Timber. I am here with a fun Stamp Timber project today. This beautiful, beautiful embossing folder background, I'm going to show you how I made this. It's a fun mixed media project. And I'm attempting for the first time to emboss on mineral paper, which I ended up loving. So this is paper that's actually made out of rocks. It has a lot of really interesting properties. And I hadn't tried it with powdered watercolor yet, so I wanted to try that with this beautiful embossing folder. So I embossed this piece already, and then I'll be doing a few other things with the other pieces of paper. Starting with the one on the top left, I'm just going to take that piece of paper and I'm going to crumple it up and see if I can get some sort of topographic looking textures with the powdered watercolor. So I will crinkle it up. This is a very tough paper. That's one of the reasons it's so much fun to create with. And we will see what that does. One of the pieces of paper, I'm just going to leave plain and try with the powdered watercolor. And then one I will use with Saran Wrap, which is one of my favorite watercolor techniques. And I have other videos on this. Now I bought this very handy box of sheets of parchment paper that I like to use when I'm doing very messy techniques. I can use these for a couple of times and then just rinse them off and pop them in the recycle bin and they're great. So when you have a super messy one that you don't want to just cover your desk with, these are a great option. So I'm using some infusions here and I'm sprinkling this onto the paper first. Instead of getting the paper wet first, I'm just going to sprinkle it dry onto the pieces of mineral paper. I will be using a few different colors. So I'm bringing in Rusty Car, which is a very fun color, and sprinkling that on the crumpled up one. Now, a little bit goes a really long way. So don't get too crazy with either the water or the actual pigment because these are very saturated and they go a long way. The next step is to add water. So on the embossed piece, which I'm super interested to see how this works, I'm misting it. I have a really cool, very fine mister that I can use to pretty much control the water, although you can still make mistakes, which I do later on by adding a little bit too much water. But see how it settles into the design of that embossing folder on that mineral paper. I just love the way that looks. And then it preserves all the different colors that are present in the infusions, which is very fun. So now for the topographic version, I'm going to spritz this one that has like a beautiful rosy color. And you'll just want to make sure that you let this air dry completely. This is not, you can't use a heat gun with this paper. And it's not really something you want to rush. So you can pick up this whole piece of parchment paper, put it somewhere to dry for a few hours, and you will be good. So now I will activate these on the right. I love all these multicolored little bursts that you get with this powder. Very fun. This one looks very autumn-y. And this should create some really cool textures with the cling wrap. When you're applying the cling wrap to watercolor, you want to make sure you get a lot of scrunching happening so that you're going to get that fun sort of ice texture into the watercolor. And again, just let this naturally dry underneath the cling wrap until it's completely dry and there are no more puddles. That's how you will get the sharpest patterns in your cling wrap design. So it almost looks like little crystals. So here I'm just going to distribute a little bit of the powder and also shake a little bit off because I feel like I had a lot. And this is where I went a little crazy and I just sprayed too much water. So it ended up just all mixing, which that's not really the beauty of infusions. The beauty of infusions is seeing those little pops of pink and yellow and the texture, but I didn't do this right. And so it all just kind of mixed together. Then I made it even worse by picking up and swirling it around where it had all these little interesting marks from the walnut crystals. I made it into a big mushy mess by just pouring it off the paper. So use less water, maybe use a little less pigment, and then don't just blend it all together into a super boring thing versus the cool texture that you had before. 
but the little cracks on the topographic one and of course this beautiful pattern from this embossing folder are just going to be magical and I didn't get too much water on those so just like with anything watercolor controlling the water is what makes it a success so that's true with powdered watercolor as well but it's going to be fun to kind of watch these develop like a polaroid and see what they look like when they're dry I wanted to show you a close up of this cuz it's so beautiful I added some ink of gold to the top just to highlight some of that texture and it's so pretty close up. And then here's how I finished the card with this awesome Merry Christmas die in gold foil paper. So head over to my blog for some fun information about stamp timber and giveaways. And thanks so much for watching.